Welcome to the California Guide. My name is Rebecca and I'm going to show you around what many people consider to be the most glamorous wine region in the whole world, California. Last month we took you to Bordeaux, the most famous wine producing region in the world, but this month we're going to the golden state of California, the superstar wine region of the new world. In fact, after France, Italy and Spain, this region is the world's largest wine producer so much so that the northern part of the state is known as California wine country and receives around 21 million visitors every year. The coastal state of California runs along the west coast of the United States of America, where it's bordered by the Pacific Ocean to the west, the dry and arid states of Nevada and Arizona to the east, Mexico to the south, and Oregon to the north. The most famous of its wine regions are in the north and include Napa Valley, Mendocino and the Sonoma Valley. But wines are produced all along the coast right down to Palm Springs in the south and across to Madeira County in the centre. In fact, more wine is produced in California than anywhere else in the US. 90% of the wine produced in America comes from here. So California is famous for its sunny climate, rolling hills, beautiful beaches and biodiversity, all of which makes it a great place to grow vines. But its reputation as a world-class wine producing region is actually a fairly recent one. It wasn't until the Judgment of Paris wine tasting of 1976 that Californian wines were really taken seriously. In 1976, a British wine merchant called Stephen Spurrier organized a blind tasting of the finest quality wines from Bordeaux and California. He called together some of the world's top wine experts and sommeliers and held a blind tasting in Paris. Each judge tasted the wines and was asked to rate them out of 20. At the time, Spurrier believed that the best wines had to be French. It turned out he was wrong. A Californian wine won in every single category and the results sparked a huge controversy with some of the judges believing it to have been a fraud and the French wine industry refusing to acknowledge the tasting happened at all. The impact was so major that it shocked the world and revolutionized wine by encouraging the production and expansion of new world wines. It's a truly amazing story and you can find out more by watching the Hollywood film Bottle Shop, which stars Alan Rickman as Stephen Spurrier. So back to California of today, now it's home to some of the finest wines in the world including Pinot Noirs made by Brewer and Clifton in the Santa Rita Hills of Santa Barbara, Chardonnays made by the Mount Eden Vineyards in the Santa Cruz Mountains, and red grape field blends produced in the Sonoma Valley. There are more than 1,200 wineries in California. Some of these are giant producers that sell wines all around the world, while others are small boutique vineyards. One vineyard you may have heard of is the famous Inglenook Estate in Rutherford, in the Napa Valley. This winery was bought by the director Francis Ford Coppola in 1975, who has since worked with renowned wine experts to restore the estate to its original heritage. Other Californian wineries to get the A-list treatment include the Mick Fleetwood Private Cellar in Lake County, which is owned by, as you'd expect, Fleetwood Mac founder Mick Fleetwood, the Lassiter's Vineyard in Sonoma County, which is owned by the Pixar and Disney animator John Lassiter, and the Ferguson Crest in Santa Nix Valley, which is owned by Fergie of the Black Eyed Peas. California is home to New World wines, so its history is much shorter than those of Old World wine producers. Sometime in the 18th century, Spanish missionaries brought the European vine Vitis vinifera to California. Then, in the early 19th century, the Californian gold rush brought new settlers to the region and the demand for wine grew. By 1857, the first commercial winery was founded by Augustin Harrisy in the Sonoma Valley. But disaster struck in the late 19th century when a breakout of the Flixera aphid struck the region. This was the same aphid that wiped out many European vineyards earlier that century. Fortunately, the vineyards were rescued thanks to the technique of grafting European vines to American rootstock which was resistant to the bug. By the early 20th century, California boasted 800 wineries and around 300 grape varieties. 
but disaster struck again on January 1919 when prohibition was introduced and most of the vineyards were uprooted and the wineries shut down. But after prohibition ended in 1933, the California wine industry gradually made a comeback until 1976 when the famous Judgment of Paris tasting occurred. From this point on, California wines were well and truly on the map. As I'm sure you know, California is blessed with a warm, sunny climate all year round, making it a great place to grow vines. But there's loads more to it than that. California has a very long coastline, and this means constant sea breezes and plenty of low-lying cloud and fog. This is like a natural air conditioning, which keeps the grapes cool and makes it the perfect place to grow cool climate grape varieties like Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. If you move into the center of the state, away from the coastline, there are plenty of rivers, lakes and deltas to help keep the grapes cool. Half of the world's 12 main soil types exist in California's Napa Valley region alone. And there's over 100 different soil variations across the state. Types of soil include sand, clay, loam, granite, volcanic ash, seabed soil, and river-run gravel. Some of the key grape varieties grown in California include Chardonnay, French Colombard, Sauvignon Blanc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Zinfandel, and Merlot. Chardonnay. The style of Chardonnay you'll find in California will depend on whether it's been oak aged and where it's been produced. In the warmer Napa Valley and Lake County regions, you'll come across rich, buttery, oaky Chardonnays, while in the cooler regions, like the Sonoma Coast, the Chardonnay isn't oaked but is lighter and more acidic. Some typical tasting notes include lemon, pineapple, apple, and passion fruit. French Colombard. You might not have heard of this grape, but it's actually one of the most commonly planted grapes in North America. It's an easy to grow grape that has a very high yield, so it's used in a lot of blends. Typical notes include apple, lemon zest, and melon. The Sauvignon Blanc that's produced in California is often full-bodied, fruity, slightly sweet, and enriched by oak aging. When it's made this way, it's sometimes called fumé blanc. Some typical notes are ripe sweet fruits like melon, but also acidic fruits like grapefruit and gooseberry. Think California wines and you probably think Zinfandel. It's the third most planted grape in the whole state. But it wasn't until the 1990s when scientists used DNA profiling on the grape that they discovered it was actually genetically identical to the Italian Primitivo grape. Typical notes include blackberry, black pepper, and raspberry. Cabernet Sauvignon. After Chardonnay, Cabernet Sauvignon is the most widely planted grape in all of California, and it produces some of the finest wines in the world. The wines tend to be slightly fruitier and less tannic than Cabernet Sauvignons from the old world, and have notes of black cherry, licorice, and black pepper. Merlot. This is the fourth most planted grape in the state and was especially popular in the 1990s. However, the grape's popularity has dipped in the noughties after the release of the cult wine film Sideways, which stars Paul Giamatti and Thomas Hayden Church. In the film, the two main characters drive across California, tasting wine and criticizing Merlot while idolizing Pinot Noir. The impact of the movie was so great that sales of Merlot dipped 2%, while sales of Pinot Noir increased by 16%. Typical tasting notes for Merlot are black cherry, raspberry, and plum. Appellations in California are defined either by geographical boundaries, such as the name of a county, or by federally recognized growing regions, and are called American Viticultural Areas, or AVAs for short. There are a handful of principal AVAs in California, including the North Coast AVA, the Central Coast AVA, the Santa Cruz Mountains AVA, the South Coast AVA, and the Sierra Foothills AVA. And then there are sub-appellations within them, such as the Napa Valley and the Sonoma Valley, which we're going to look at in more detail. The Napa Valley AVA is the most famous Californian AVA of all, and some of the most expensive wines are produced here. 20% of the value of all of Californians' wines come from this region, 
and that's from just 4% of the wine that's made. Amazingly, this area was little known until 1966, when a winemaker called Robert Mondavi built a large winery and began producing exciting new wines. In fact, it was Robert Mondavi who coined the term Fumé Blanc for a dry, oak-aged Sauvignon Blanc, a term that is now frequently used in California today. Another famous Californian AVA is the Sonoma Valley in Sonoma County. Some of the oldest wineries can be found here, including the oldest commercial winery, the Buena Vista Winery, which was founded in 1857. The cool influences from the Pacific Ocean and the rain shadow produced by the nearby Sonoma Mountains makes this an ideal place for growing vines, which is why Franciscan monks came to the area as early as the 1820s and began establishing wine production.